Good evening and welcome to One on One with Glenn and Brent. I'm Brent Stewart. I'm Glenn. And Glenn, basketball season's over. Don't want to acknowledge that. Nothing else to talk about, so let's talk about dead celebrities. Mm. Although this episode will be airing about two weeks after the fact, just yesterday we saw the passing of Mickey Rooney. That's very sad. That's very sad. And it reminds me of a story. I do a good impersonation of um, of uh, of him. Maybe after my story. Can, okay. Okay. All right. You don't want to. Okay. Well, it'll, be, it'll build anticipation. People love impersonations. Um. So I uh, and my friends over the years used to attend many different uh, pop culture conventions, things of this sort. And uh, one of the years we attended Dragon Con in Atlanta, and they usually have a, a, a many uh, uh, guests from genre films, um, you know, sci-fi, horror people, things like that. Uh, but one year, for some reason, they had Mickey Rooney was one of the guests there. And at this point, he was coming up on 90, if, if not already there. It really wasn't that long ago. And uh, as I was walking through the room where they had everyone set up at their little card tables where they're selling $20 <laughs> photographs of themselves... Um, that you can then pay ten more dollars to have signed. Did um, you? Did no, you? no, no. Uh, I was walking through the room, and everyone has a line. You know, George Romero, of course, has a line. Uh, Tom Atkins has a line. The third Muppet from the Left on Babylon Five has a line. Everyone has a line, but not Mickey Rooney. Mm. And Mickey Rooney, as you know, was at one time the biggest box office star in the world. Nineteen thirty and nineteen forty, thirty nine and forty, I believe. Uh, huge, huge star. But by this time, in the 2000s, the uh, wattage had dimmed a bit. So I walked by, and Mickey Rooney is sitting forlorn at his table. Of course, I don't acknowledge him, because what am I going to say to Mickey Rooney? So then he walks on, I walk on. I come back later, and he has a helper who's there uh, sitting next to him. And the helper is now standing out and visibly trying to bring people to the table. He's saying, come see Mickey Rooney. Uh, one of the all-time great box office stars, the biggest star in the world, come see him. And Mickey Rooney, then in the grip of anger, says, Stop it! You're embarrassing me! Oh. And that's my vivid memory of Mickey Rooney. I walked by him as he was being embarrassed, as uh, as someone tried to get people to come pay them for his autograph. That, that's not the way he should uh, have lived. But don't feel bad for him. He was married to Ava Gardner. That's pretty great. Well, so guess, you have an impersonation. Yes, uh, it goes like this. Probably not as good as mine, but... I, I don't remember what you did. <clears throat> well, I kind of shook. What's what's the deal with crackers? I mean, they come in these bags and boxes. That's, I mean, is that really what you want to put on your bronze that's swagger? Andy, that's Andy Rooney. Uh, yeah, yeah, he was an old guy. Yeah. And it, Well, anyway, I, I, I'm really done with that. I want to hear more about your TV. You, you know the TV. Uh I don't watch a lot of TV, but I have been watching some shows lately that I've enjoyed. Oh, wait. Here's the theme song. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. This is unscripted. Okay, now. I don't now, understand. Uh, yeah, oh, the, for, the, yeah. for my segment, yeah. Brent's TV Corner. All right. Um, recently, I've been watching and enjoying some shows on Comedy Central. Uh, Andy Daly's um, review is, is, a, is a very interesting new series. Um, he's sort of having a moment right now with his Andy Daly uh, pilot podcast project uh, that's, be, that's out now and then the uh, review show uh, we've been enjoying the wife and I have been enjoying Broad City that's a very entertaining show um, we've been enjoying The Walking Dead which is a story about a man who lived on a beach and then he died and then his name was Jerome McStreet and uh, then his ghost comes back well, you've probably seen it. it's very popular it's a very popular I haven't show. seen it um, I can't help but notice that we've got that spot that we were talking about last week is getting a little... Yeah. Uh, you ever told us what that was about exactly? I told you about being... I, I found myself in a cave and uh, that, but I mean... It, I don't think it's we, not, you know, I it, believe that story. But. It's not anything. I mean, it's... It really looks like something. It is getting... <laughs> it's 
kind of all brown and red. My hands do things. I mean, <laughs> you don't know how old I'm getting. <laughs> no, I know exactly how old you're getting. But... I mean, it doesn't show, but you know the, the facts. That's not a liver so, spot. That is far from right. We don't have to belabor the point. I'm doing great. Uh, but we, we're not even, we haven't even begun to talk about why we're even here. Why are we here, Glenn? Well, we haven't begun to talk about it. But now I'm going to tell you. All right. Um, it's the day of the Great Banner unveiling. You know, we decided to do it. Uh, it's the banner. Uh, remember when we discussed it and how on board you were with it? Uh, it's, it was a great uh, committee decision that we came up with. Um, this is for our show? Yeah. You, you know. Oh, it's like one of those Louisville's own, et cetera, right. et cetera. But this is for, so it's like Louisville's Glenn and Brent? I would love that. Well, yeah, but it's, it's uh, uh, Hunter S. Thompson. Hunter S. Thompson's... Uh, well, he recently got one, so it's in that style is what you mean. It's like a Louisville's own Gonzo, which they had Gonzo Fest, and What's-His-Face showed up down there, probably read some awful poetry. But, um... Well, well, well here, here it comes. Uh, Hunter's one-on-one with Glenn and Glenn. I don't really understand what, uh... It's not Louisville, it's Hunter, so you, one thing he's not... I mean, he... Was dead long before this show even started. I don't think he was even making it nowadays. The time had come. We need to honor him, and here we go. Uh, forever, he'll be associated with this show. I don't really know what you're going show. for here. I, thought, I do know. Didn't you give me your thoughts on it before that you were on board? And... I was not on board. Um, I ate two entire sacks of White Castles before the show. It's a bad habit. I'm going to go ahead and take care of that. Um, but we're just if you could just still... go ahead. Yeah, whatever. Um. I'm going to get a, a drink at the bar first, right? Oh, well, now, here we go. I'm alone again. I don't know everything. I don't take, I don't take shit. I can't. This isn't, I, I'm the straight, I, I don't, I can't handle. I don't want it. I, it's the banners. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Bartender Brian, uh, good to see you. Um, what's going on? How you doing, Glenn? I'm, I'm doing great. Talking about a banner. Yeah, I saw the uh, Hunters one on one with Glenn and Brent. Yeah. Yeah, you have great ideas. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Because finally someone comes by to say it. It's just a shame that Brent never realizes your genius. What do you think it is? He fails to look at it or not able to look at it? I just don't think he really gives a <laughs> Speaking of which, yes. That deal we talked about last week. At the bar. Yes. The hit. Well, I remember it, but um, the show is kind of looking at what we're saying, so we can't. Well, maybe you. Well, I understand they're going to keep talking about it. So. I really, I really want the money. You know, I, I've, I've been working for you guys for years. I've endured the violence, the sleepless nights. I've been down here in this basement for 20 years. I've even heard rumors that this is Brent's parents' basement. I, I don't know. I don't. I was like two years old when I was brought here. But uh, I think that you just need to pay me. Just slip me a little money. We'll get the deal done. Just remember, Glenn, the key word is abstain. Someone say something about somebody stinks. Nope. Uh, um, hello. Hey there. <clears throat> Bartender. Roger. Good to see y'all. Uh, good to see you. I, uh, I thought I smelled someone thinking about Hunter S. Thompson and not mentioning me. So here I am. Hey, uh, Welcome back. What, what's this? That's our new banner for one on one with Glenn Brand. It's Hunter. One on one. Were you were you at the Gonzo Fest? I I, I read some poetry. We had some uh, good old times of fellowship and some, uh, some whatever, you know, good old, you get a little red wine and some impressionable teenage girls that hate their parents, you'll have a good time, you know what I mean? I don't, again, it's like there's a show that, it's well, not, I, I, I it's a nice understand. banner, Brian. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know. Y'all gonna kill that guy, the back guy, the White you, Castle? You know, I, I can help, I can help. I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you there was another person. That's Ron. I appreciate Ron you is... referring to me as a person. That happens infrequently. Yes. I told you. I told you the money's not a problem. Yeah. 
Well, you all want some tech units? I've got a few back here. Ron is going to take care of your problem. Mm -hmm. And my problem. Yep. Yep. I'm a problem solver. This blight Poet on the Lord. face of humanity known as Brent Stewart. Who? White Castle. Have... White Castle. Yeah. 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 You know, I, I gave him an orange dragon to get him out of his bed today. It wasn't really the White Castle. What's, the, what's an orange dragon? It's vodka mixed with Metamucil. It's one of my specialties. Oh. It's falling apart all the time. But I don't know what Ron's technique is uh, for this whole thing. I can well, have... I've been uh, sleeping in his house with him completely unaware for several weeks now. I will probably just uh, wait until he's asleep and then uh, come up and strangle him to death. Okay. He's your inside man. Yep. Literally, I literally am inside the house. I have and on that note, more regrets. Okay, I gotta go. Just remember. I'm not, I, I trust that you're able to handle this. We'll take care of it. <coughs> Whoa. Well, uh, I, Brent and I were friends at one time, and oh, hey. it should be tough. Brent, hey, Brent, long-time friend Brent. That was unpleasant. You know what I mean? Um, so what's, uh, did I say anything? Uh, no, uh, uh, no. Things kind of fell apart, as they tend to do when you're not here. Yeah. I kind of feel like I was gone so long, you know, up there, taking care of business. I, I don't know. I don't want to hear. Yeah. Well, um, I don't guess there's much left to say. Um, I When I was up there, I was reading uh, Jurassic Park by Mike Crichton um, about dinosaurs. What do you, why do you think the uh, dinosaurs went extinct? Uh, not no no. You know what I mean? not Strong thoughts about they're it. not extinct. No, no, they're not extinct. <laughs> I don't no, know what. No, no, they're not. Is this like a dance? No, no. This is the hand job. No, <laughs> no. <laughs>